ghost story, I think, of all time. And I do tell this on my ghost tour. By the way, I do obviously said to ghost tours, book now. Um, and it was told to me in this very room. And we'd finished a ghost tour of an evening and everyone was leaving. There was easily 40 something people on this ghost tour. They were all leaving the room, apart from one little old lady. Now I do say little old lady, that's not patronizing. It, she was, I don't know how she got around the ghost walk. She went into the tunnel, she climbed stairs, she went into the attic. She was a soldier, she really was, but she was clearly in her late 80s. Um, and she never left. She walked over towards myself and uh, Mr. Felix and said, I need to talk to you two. And we thought initially we'd done something wrong or we'd upset her. So we were like, okay, what, what's the matter? What's wrong? And she goes, nothing's wrong. I just need to talk to you two lads about something that happened to me. So we lent an ear. We noticed that her husband, by the way, who was already on his way out the door, he just turned around and caught, wind, caught sight of his wife and asked her what was the matter. She said, we need to stay longer, I need to say something to these, to these lads. So, okay, so he starts walking over to her, she comes right over to us. It's something that happened to me when I was in my 20s. We're like, okay, she says, I used to be a nurse. And I drove, and, but it was in the day of windy windows, we didn't have mobile phones or anything like that, no technology whatsoever. And I was on my way home, and I lived just on the outskirts of Derby, so it's kind of country roads. And a woman had ran out in front of my car and screaming for help. I pulled over. She said, there's been a terrible accident. Help, help, help. She can't remember what happened to the woman, but she does remember getting out of the car. She saw the skid marks and the embankment which the car had gone down. She said, and as she's talking, her voice is getting more and more weaker. She's starting to actually physically get upset as she's telling the story. <coughs> she then goes, I tried so hard, I slid down the embankment. I saw the car, the car had gone down the embankment and into some trees and it was on fire. I tried so hard, she said, I tried so hard, so hard to get to the car to save the lives of the person in the car. I couldn't get near the car. By this point, she started to cry. We then asked her if she was okay, and she said she needed to finish the story. She then continued with, the flames were so tall, the fire was so hot, the blaze was so strong, she couldn't physically get to the car, but she could see the driver that was in the driver's seat. She was already dead, and it was the same person that had run out into the road asking for help.